All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about why a simpler web is a better web. And I'm specifically targeting the very complicated and large subject of the Fediverse. Now, what is a Fediverse? Well, if you don't know, it's just a term that refers to decentralized social media. So let's say I wanna run my own Pleroma. That's one of the popular decentralized social media servers. I can run it on my server and then people can sign up to it and, and do tweets or posts or whatever they do on Pleroma. And then what can happen is that that instance can be linked over to other instances. In fact, it is by default. So other instances of Pleroma can subscribe to mine or they, they can look at mine and see, oh, this is what he posted at this time, this is what he posted at that time. And they can do that for all of the users signed up to mine. So while I have my own internal kind of kingdom, my own little platform, other platforms can see what's going on and mirror the content and then act as one giant platform. So that's a very clever idea, right? until you realize it has some very fundamental flaws. The biggest one is censorship. Well, of course, there's not one centralized king to censor everything like there is on Twitter, right? But, you know, big instances and any instance really can still block your instance. Let's take Twitter, right? Twitter has been toying around with the idea of adopting ActivityPub, OStatus, or Diaspora. These are the three most popular Fediverse protocols as their protocol. And they've, they've been talking about it more recently with their CEO going all weird and rogue. The point is, is that they are genuinely thinking about this or genuinely thinking about becoming quote unquote decentralized. Now what that'll actually mean is that they'll federate, they'll let people see posts on Twitter. But if you want to get your instance on Twitter, that's probably going to be very difficult unless you're very non-controversial. So let's say I run an instance of Pleroma that's very political or activists or that sort of stuff and Twitter doesn't like it. Well, they can just block me off. They can just cut it off and say, all right, those posts are not going to be showing up on Twitter. And that way you're losing the entire Twitter off audience. That doesn't happen with simpler standards like RSS. It wouldn't be a Denshi video if I'm not showing RSS. But basically what I'm saying here is that the Fediverse, it's great, right? You know, decentralized social media, but it's not ran by the people. You're still relying on a middleman, that being the server operators, those who actually run the server. Back to my example of me running my own Pleroma. If I didn't like one of my users, banned. If I didn't like one of the servers, I could block it. I'm not saying I would, but you know, I could. And that's the problem. People are going to abuse that power. They're going to censor people unjustly. It's going to happen because you've given that option in the first place and it's inherent to the system. So a far better way of doing it is RSS, which means just getting a feed directly from the person. All you got to do is run your own personal website or ask a friend to host it or, or buy a domain or get a subdomain or something like that. And then you can have your own little website and an RSS feed. Now, I don't think this is realistic for most people, obviously. I'm just saying that for people like you, you people who watch my videos, who care about freedom and decentralization, you're probably going to want to do that or think about doing it or, or think about subscribing to RSS feeds. I have my own. I have subscribed to a few others. I can even subscribe to Twitter as an RSS feed. So I can see everything in one application like you can with Pleroma where you can see everybody's posts on one website, but you still have access to everything. But the difference being that you're getting everything directly from the users. If you want to cut me off, you're going to have to come to my house and unplug my server. But basically, guys, what I'm trying to say with this video is that Pleroma and Fediverse and stuff it's not a permanent solution. It's not a proper decentralized solution because you're relying on centralized servers and it's gonna be terrible. As soon as it gets popular, it's gonna be terrible. It's already terrible with Mastodon censoring people it's gonna get worse. It's only gonna get worse from now on. So my recommendation to you is use RSS or any simpler, more direct method. And yeah, that's it. I've been Denshi. Keep the web simple. Goodbye. I think that was okay.